First, Madison teachers are close to signing off on a contract extension that would last through the next two years. News 3's Margo Spann joins us now with the latest on what is inside of this deal, Margo. That's right, Maria. The district is facing more than a, a more than $20 million deficit next year, and this agreement with Madison Teachers Incorporated will help close that and save more than $15 million. I feel good, feel relieved, um, feel like our... Um, House is in order. After 18 hours of negotiating, the Madison Metropolitan School District has a tentative agreement with their teachers union that lasts through June of 2013. In bargaining, you never get everything you want, and you and so, but you have to prioritize things, and we did prioritize things, and I feel uh, very good about the things that we were able to accomplish. The major savings come from several areas. By increasing employee contributions to the pension plan, that saves the district $11 million. A one-year salary freeze equals $1.9 million in savings, and increasing employee health insurance contributions adds up to $1.7 million in savings. One teacher pleased with the deal says the district dealt them a fair hand. They're looking out for the best Madison public schools, um, the best for the teachers and the children in those schools, bottom line. The teacher absences that shut the district down for four days is also addressed in the contract. This new agreement gives the Board of Education authority to determine how the lost instruction time will be made up. The superintendent says any teacher without a valid excuse will be suspended. This is not in agreement with trying to get paid for those days. I believe that if you were at school, you should get paid for those days, and if you were not there, I think I, I'm, I would be fine without getting paid, me personally. Superintendent Nirad says having this agreement in place puts their attention where it should be, on education. My hope is, knowing that we have a lot of things that we need to do for our young people, is that we can go forward and with the understanding that we'll have uh, um, the need to cut less programs. The contract still needs to be ratified by Madison Teachers Incorporated. That's expected to happen tomorrow when MTI members meet at the Alliant Energy Center at 2 p.m. This contract drastically cuts the district's deficit, but more cuts will have to be made to make up the rest. The superintendent is expected to announce what else is on the chopping block at a meeting March 28th. A lot of school districts are kind of scrambling to get these contracts done. All right, thanks so much, Margo, for that report tonight.